Well, I'm on the farm today and uh, thought I'd do just a real quick video. Uh, we've got all our hay cutters mounted to tractors, and uh, I thought I'd show those to you. And uh, got another related video that'll come out uh, no time soon, but uh, uh, it covers some of the same stuff I'm talking about now, but a little different subject uh, matter in regards to it. But uh, we have three uh, weapons that we use to cut hay with. Well, one of them's a sickle bar, the other one is a sickle mower conditioner, or a, uh, as people call them, a, a hay bind. And then we have a disc mower conditioner that a lot of people call a disc bind. So the first one here is uh, the old Massey 32 sickle mower. It's a seven foot mower mounted to the uh, Model 50 Massey. And uh, and this was our original hay cutter here, uh, at least for me. And, uh, and of course I got a big wad of grass around the PTO. Normally I have a, uh, a welcome mat or something like that underneath here. And I didn't, and I got into some stems passing over some other grass. That's kind of annoying. But uh, I was ready to quit when, it, when I noticed it was wrapped up like that. But in any event, this is a Pittman drive sickle mower. There's the Pittman arm. And this has been a great cutter on the farm. And uh, I still use it. Uh, to cut some of these small patches and a few other things. I uh, wouldn't mind having a drum mower or a straight disc mower to replace this uh, at some point, but uh, we'll see. We moved away from this uh, as our primary tool because we found that in stemmy uh, hay, uh, we were not getting a, uh, a good dry down for horse quality hay, so we needed something to... to uh, break or crush that stem and uh, so we moved on to a, a sickle mower conditioner and and by the way how we knew we needed to make a change was we'd make some beautiful horse quality hay and you'd take the bale and throw it down on the ground and a little puff of dust would come off of it and it wasn't mechanical dust that's different it was just white just a little bit of white mold and it was enough to turn off the horse hay customer and that's our highest dollar hay so we had to make a change so the second uh, mower that we have our weapon on the farm is this heston 1110 and i've got the doors open here i'm going to be doing a video on uh just a review of this uh of this Heston and some of the features but uh, it's a really nice even though it's old and uh, kind of shows its age it's actually a really nice hay cutter it's got uh, rubber on steel rollers uh, they crimp instead of crush and it is a sickle type it's seven feet and uh, what that did it gave us the uh, uh, conditioning that we needed uh, you know, uh, crimping those stems such that our our horse quality hay was completely dry. There was no no mold dust or anything, and uh, it's been a really good machine. But it is seven feet wide. Now we kind of we still use it, but we moved away from it to a disc mower conditioner, uh, which is our third uh, uh, weapon of choice when we're cutting hay. And uh, we'll take a quick look, see at that. So the third weapon we have as far as uh, uh, cutting hay is our Crone 2801 CV. And I've got it on the Massey Ferguson 1105. And uh, <clears throat> it's been a great machine. Somewhere on this channel, I did a review on the Crone. If you look it up, uh, you'll find it. Uh, this thing is a disc mower conditioner. And... Uh, with impeller tines it's just a really well engineered machine there are no belts it's all gear drive uh, uh, <clears throat> the hay gets pitched up against those uh, that conditioning hood and then it rubs together as it passes through uh, the dry down on grass hay is just really impressive and uh, <clears throat> Crone's conditioning tines 
See how they're hooked like that? Uh, they're very aggressive in moving, you know, in moving the hay. So, um, you know, the reason we went to this thing was uh, a couple reasons. Uh, with my day job, there's only so many hours in the day. And as you know, if you use a sickle mower, uh, if you get a lot of a dew or you're trying to mow right after rain. I mean, how many times have I been on this farm? And it rained all morning, and uh, I get up here, and the grass is just soaked. But I got the rest of the day, and then I got a nice window of uh, maybe a three-day window. And uh, if I can just get the hay on the ground, uh, then uh, we'll have dry hay in time to bale before the next shower comes a few days later. And invariably, uh, especially in heavy hay, the sickle... Uh, mower uh, mower conditioner would clog and uh, you know about if you if you have those you know that's just kind of part of the game but uh, what this thing does it allows us to mow anytime in the rain in the dark in the heaviest of dews I swear I think we can mow in the snow this is nine feet if I can go three and a half four miles an hour on the uh, uh, sickle mower and the uh, Heston mower conditioner I can go seven in the heaviest of hay uh, in this and the only reason I don't go faster is because with our bumpy fields it's kind of hard to stay in the seat on the big massy so um, between the additional width and the additional speed we pretty much cut our time in half when we're mowing uh, you know when we're mowing with this so uh, from a day job standpoint uh, I can get up here and I can cut if the dew comes I can continue to cut if nightfall comes I can continue to cut If I come up here and it has rained or if it's even even if it's raining but it's going to break off and I need to and I want to go ahead and cut nothing stops the chrome and uh, I, 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 I believe if I haven't said it already I think I could uh, mow in the snow with this thing it's just a fantastic machine and uh, so it and it knock on wood it's reliable when we start cutting hay we have uh, high very high confidence we're going to be able to finish and when we're selling horse quality hay uh, being able to get in cut the hay get the hay off the field and into the bale is essential so this is an integral tool to that and uh, does a nice job conditioning hay we don't have any legumes so the impellers are just fine for what we're doing so that's just kind of a rundown of our uh, hay cutters our weapons that we use to cut hay a sickle mower uh, sickle mower conditioner and then our crone here and we have different places we use all three of them for different reasons but uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, going to be a beautiful day and we'll talk to you later